What's good, y'all? Little impromptu video here, but considering what's going on in the news with this one, I feel like it's worth it. So, there's been some rumblings, rumors, that Sasha Banks, well, Mercedes Monet now, could very well be on her way back to the WWE. I guess there's been some cryptic messages, some cryptic stuff on social media. I know she, uh, uh, Mercedes or Sasha, whichever one you want to call her, she put out a video a couple of weeks ago saying how so she said something like it was going to be an exciting 2024, like the boss is back or something like that. She had suffered an injury early in the year because she had a match with Willow Nightingale, but then she suffered the injury and uh, she's been out of action since. So she could very well, you know, obviously she's obviously going to make a very return to the wrestling ring. But the question is, where exactly is she going to be at? And at first it seemed like, OK, well, clearly she's going to continue her work in Japan and then she could very well go to AEW because Remember, she was at the AEW All-In pay-per-view. They literally mentioned her. She was in attendance. They showed her face and everything. So it really seemed like all signs were her going to AEW. But then rumors came out saying that it died down. And then obviously, you know, with everything going on in WWE, CM Punk coming back. And then you got with the women, Charlotte Flair, she had signed a new deal. You know, Bailey had just signed a new deal. Becky's definitely going to sign a new deal. Apparently, she's become a free agent, her and Rollins, next year. But they're not leaving the company. Though Those guys are definitely not leaving. Becky's definitely resigning. Rollins is definitely resigning. And if Sasha was to be locked up to where she comes back to WWE, that's the full horsewoman, man. And you know, Triple H, he values, you know, these women like they are his own daughters. So definitely, they'll have to pay her a bunch of money. Again, rumors on the words saying that she would have to be paid up to like more than what or even on the same level to what Charlotte is making just, you know, just to make it happen. But if she was to come back, definitely it would have to be a Royal Rumble appearance, you know, because that's what the Royal Rumble is all about. So do I think she could come back? I say it's a definitely a possibility. But then again, it's like she hasn't really done a lot in Japan and I know that she really wanted to explore, you know, stardom and all that and stuff and you can't really say she'd go to AEW because it's like how can you go to AEW where the division respectfully just ain't really all that outside of a few women like, you know, Tony Storm for example. Like the only big really big match I can name for her in AEW is obviously Jamie Hayter and then you got um freaking Root, you know, not Ruby Soho, but Chris Statlander and uh, Karshita, etc. Like, no, no one wants Mercedes Monet to go to AW to feud with Soraya. You know, <laughs> ain't nobody really trying to see that. But we'll see what happens. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So.